Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be going over how to create a seamless pattern in Adobe Illustrator that you can use to fill any shape that you create. First thing you're going to do is open up a new file, it doesn't really matter what size. For this one we're just going to do 1920 by 1080. Then from here what we're going to do is draw a square. So you can do this by clicking the square over here on your toolbar or just pressing M as the hotkey. Um, when you click, rather than drag, it'll actually pull up this dialog window and ask you for a specific shape. So I would recommend doing that. For today's tutorial, we're going to do 500 width by 500 height. So we're not going to do a fill in our swatch today, but you're welcome to if you want that for your pattern. For now, what we're going to do is, so we don't bump this uh, rectangle at all, is hit Command 2, which will lock it in place. Um, and then from there, we can draw whatever shape you want for your pattern. So for me, I'm just gonna do some kind of fun squiggly lines here. Something like that. And then what we'll do is drag it over here. Um, let's fix this point here. So you can see there's a little bump in the side of this. Uh, and what we're gonna wanna do is round that out a bit. We have our first shape, um, and what we're gonna do is actually hit select the shape with the selection tool and hit Shift X, which will switch the stroke to the fill, because um, for this pattern, I'm not gonna have any actual uh, stroke on this, it's just gonna be fill. And then we can change the color to whatever we want, so why don't we do something like a nice blue like that. And then from there, um, we can duplicate this if we want to. Um, really, you just gotta draw whatever shapes. So just for an example, I'm gonna duplicate this a few times, move it around, uh, move some points around with the direct select tool so we get some different shapes. Uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because it doesn't really matter for this tutorial. You guys can make really whatever shapes you want. Yeah, so we'll fast forward through this as I make the other shapes that we need. Okay, so we have our first side complete. Um, then what we're going to do is do the same for the top. Okay, good enough for this tutorial. Um, obviously you'll want to spend more time on the shapes that you're creating to make sure they're nice and smooth. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, just to kind of show you guys how this works, um, we're going to leave it like that. Um, what we're going to do from here is select all of our shapes on the left side. And this is why uh, actually having a rectangle that you know the exact size of is super helpful. So it doesn't necessarily have to be 500 by 500, but it is helpful to know the size because what we're gonna do is hit Command C and Command F, which will paste all these shapes uh, directly on top of uh, the, the shapes that we are copying. Um, and what we'll do is go to their position over here. So for our uh, a vertical line, we're going to be changing the X value of the shape. So to do that, we'll do uh, plus 500 pixels, which will move them all the way over to the right side of the shape and make sure that they are um, exactly 500 pixels over so that when we create this pattern, they'll get cut off at exactly the right point, which you'll see here in a second. So we're gonna do the same thing for our vertical shapes. We'll do Command C and Command F, which again, paste them directly in front of each other. From there, you're at this point going to adjust the Y value of all these shapes. So again, it's plus 500, and that'll move it to our bottom row here. From here, what we can do is take these shapes and alt click and drag, which, or option click and drag if you're on Mac, um, and then fill in the center however we want. Um, Again, if you are doing this yourself, you're probably gonna wanna create some more custom shapes, but just, like I said, for the sake of this tutorial to kinda get the point across of, of what's happening, we're just gonna do something super quick here and um, fill the center of the shape with shapes that we've already created. I think that basically illustrates the point um, well enough for this. We'll kinda call it there. Uh, again, not a beautiful, beautiful swatch, but uh, you're gonna wanna spend more time on this yourself to, to get it right. From here, now that we have our swatch created, what we're gonna do is unlock that rectangle that we had um, before, uh, so that one that's in the background here, and we will do Command-Option-2 to do that, or Command-Alt-2 if you're on Windows. 
Then what we'll do is Command C and Command F, which is going to paste that rectangle directly on top of the rectangle, similar to what we did earlier with the shapes. And then we'll do Command Shift right bracket, which is going to bring it uh, to the front. Uh, if you do Command Shift left bracket, it'll send it all the way to the back, but we want it to be in the front. Uh, and then what we'll do is select those rectangles by uh, doing a little marquee over them, and then we'll make sure that they have no stroke, because otherwise that stroke is gonna show up in our pattern. Uh, so what we'll do here is just hit the slash key, the forward slash key, which will remove that stroke, or if you don't wanna do that, you can just click this little slash down here. <coughs> okay, now that we have our rectangle and uh, slightly ugly pattern created, what we're gonna do is open up our swatch panel. So I already have mine over here on the right, but if you don't, what you can do is go to your help panel, type in swatch, and then click on swatches, which will open it up over here. Um, then what we're gonna do is basically just highlight all the things that we created and drag it directly into this swatch panel, which is going to create a swatch for us. So now, anytime we draw any shape, basically, we can delete this. Um, maybe we'll just draw something over our entire artboard here. We can select as a fill for this shape, the pattern that we just created. Uh, so right now it's actually as a stroke, if you can see over here on the left. So uh, what we need to do is hit Shift X, or you can hit this little toggle and it'll show you the pattern that we created. Um, and if we wanna you know, expand this, we can bring our pattern basically wherever we want. Essentially what we did is created an infinitely reusable pattern that you can take anywhere in Adobe Illustrator and um, use it in any of the shapes that you choose to create. You know, if you wanna grab a corner like this, do something totally different, round it out. Um, this pattern is completely adjustable and will scale and shrink with any uh, object that you choose to create. So super fun tool for, you know, obviously, Posters, if you want to do a uh, background of an application or a website, um, this is a really helpful tool to create easily scalable patterns that you can use across any of your design work. So thanks for stopping by today's video, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful, it would be awesome if you would subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. And if you're interested in more design content, uh, feel free to check around the channel. Uh, there's plenty of it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.